When you open up a comp and you don't have any audio associated with it, you can place the audio where you think sound should be, and then you can use the RAM preview to listen to the audio. Now, we have for you in the work files folder two audio files, and one is called carpet sounds.wav and chair sounds.wav. Now, I recorded these sounds with my phone, and the point was to try to make sounds that would match what the cat's doing. Now, in film, that's called Foley work. It's created by a, a, a sound artist named Foley, and you simply watch footage, and then you kind of try to mimic the sound that's going on directly or even indirectly. So, for example, I can add a dog barking in the background, an airplane passing by, or anything to kind of make this scene sound more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in those files by going to Import File. I'll head to my desktop and I'll just drag, select both of these like this and hit Open. Then I'll simply scrub and try to figure out where the sound should be. Like right here, even though she's not on the carpet, there's a carpet right here. So I can grab that carpet sound and I can drag it into my timeline. And then I can move it into position where she's playing around with the carpet, like so. Now, if the sound's too long, just move over like so and simply edit it to reduce the playback time of that audio, like so. Of course, in reality, you want to bring in the audio already trimmed if possible. But it doesn't hurt to have a little longer so you can really extend your scene if you need to. So I'm going to preview this by going to my preview panel and rewinding. And then I'm going to hit the little RAM preview button here. And then that will play the audio back. Now, you don't hear the audio right now because I have the audio turned off so that we can just focus on how to do this. Now, we can also, by the way, drag a marker to tell someone else we might be working with where to place the audio. So I go to my marker well and just drag this right here. And I can, of course, type by double clicking in it and say put the carpet sound or whatever I need to in the comment section. I'll go ahead and cancel that and then that person will be able to hover the mouse here if they needed to and read that. So once again you can double click, it opens up the marker and I can put carpet. Click OK and you can see the word carpet here. And you can even move this over. Really, really handy. Now she's going to also scratch on this little post here and I'm going to move this over until I see her do that. And there it goes. I can now grab the chair sound and I can put that right where it belongs as well. You'll notice that unlike before, when I drag something to the current time indicator, that's exactly where it will go. So I don't have to move it after the fact. But I can also scrub and reduce the sound or whatever I need to do to trim that as well. So once again, you simply rewind and do a little RAM preview, and then you will be able to hear your audio. And that is how you can place audio, using markers or just using the current time indicator, watching your footage, and then dropping the footage exactly where the event occurs.